In this video, we're going to be talking about how many Caspi you need to be a millionaire. Let's look at the price real quick. It's almost about 5.1 cents for Caspi, up 2.48%. You can see the crypto market is actually down 2.77%. Let's get into it. And before you say, oh, it takes a million dollars to be a millionaire. Yeah, today it does, but we're just going to take a look in the future. Um, I don't know what the price is going to be. I don't know what's going to happen to the project, but it's always fun to kind of dive in here. Look at what you think a potential market cap could be, and uh, let's get into it. So right here, we'll take a look here. So if the price gets to fifty cents, which is a ten x, you'd need around two million Caspa coins, and that would give a cost of today. It would cost you one hundred and two thousand dollars to buy that many Caspa coins at five point one cents. Now that would give the project a $10 million market cap, which VET got up there and actually I got the historical snapshot here. You can see and uh, you know some of these uh, coins and tokens peaked at different times like Cardano. It was after they got, when they lead up to the smart contract. So they got up to about a hundred billion market cap, somewhere close to Binance. Um, but if you go down to the 20, let's see, what are we looking at the, actually no, we're looking at the $10 billion range. You can see VeChain, Crypto.com, um, Stellar got pretty close there. And uh, some of these guys are peaking at different times. So that gives you an idea there if it got up to 50 cents. Uh, and this is looking at the bull run kind of close to the peak. You know, some of these coins and tokens peaked at different times. But that's how many coins you would need if it did get up to a 50 cent Casper price. And that's going off today's circulating supply with the mining. That is going to increase, but it should be close enough. Now let's go take a look if it got up to a dollar. Obviously, you're going to need um, a million coins. And today, if you're going to buy a million coins, that costs fifty-one thousand dollars, and that would give it a twenty billion dollar market cap. And you're looking at somewhere where that's where Matic and Avax got. You can see Polygon; it's got up to about a twenty billion dollar market cap. Um, you can take a look here. Litecoin got up there around the peak last time. Avax, Terra Luna. So you can see Shiba Inu got up to 30 million. I can add that to the 30 million dollar one, but that shows you where roughly you'd be looking at a 21 billion dollar market cap. Um, if it did get up to a dollar and someone invested 51 thousand dollars today, roughly that would be a million dollars. But who knows? Um, boom. Now let's move on to the next one. All right. So if I got up to two dollars, you'd need 500 thousand coins. And that would cost you $25,000 today. And that would give it a $41 billion market cap, almost $42 billion market cap. Uh, Polkadot got up to $45 billion last time. You can see right here the, the $45 billion range. You got Polkadot. Um, you can see that's where it kind of fit in. Um, just gives you an idea. You can see Bitcoin got up to $1.2 trillion. Ethereum over $500 billion. In theory, Bitcoin should go higher than that. This next bull run, Ethereum probably should go higher. So some of these market caps should go up a little bit higher because kind of everything Bitcoin carries the market. So that's what we got there. If it hits $2, let's move on. All right, here we are. All right, so if it got up to $3 now, if you look at Dogecoin, when Musk, probably right before he went on SNL, got up to about a $75 billion market cap. So that goes a $3 Casper price. You need 333,000 tokens, and that would cost you about $17,000 today. That would give it a $62 billion market cap, which is actually a little bit below what Doge peaked at. Doge is actually up to $75 billion. So let's move on. All right. Actually, Doge got up around there too. But we're looking at four dollars. It'd give it a market cap of eighty-three billion. Solano got up to seventy-five billion. Um, you would need two hundred fifty thousand coins. And if you bought two hundred fifty thousand coins at today's price at five point one cents, that'd cost you about twelve thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, which is a lot of money. But just throwing some numbers out there. Um, so you know, part of it for me is. When you look and go, okay, what is a potential 
market cap this could get to. Now I know the circulating supply is going to go up, but when I'm looking at a project thinking what's possible, what's realistic, something can always happen, good or bad, uh, that you don't think is possible. But when you kind of give an idea of like, okay, this isn't going to get to $1.2 trillion market cap. That's not even realistic. Okay, could it get up to something like VeChain did last bull run? Oh, okay, you know what? Um, Solano really shot up out of nowhere. Maybe something like that's possible, you know. And it gives you an idea of what do you think is even realistic, you know. And it's hard to gauge these things. But let's go ahead and look at the last one. Now, if it got up to $5, you'd need 200,000 coins. And that would be about $10,000 today. And that'd give it a $104 billion market cap. BNB and ADA, you know, BNB got up to 108, and uh, Cardano got up to around 96 to 100 billion, I think. Now here, when Bitcoin was peaking, Cardano wasn't peaking at that time. It peaked before that in September. This is November snapshot of November 14th. You'd have to go back to September. Um, you could actually go take a look back at what September or something. I don't know. That's probably when. Here you can see Cardano's uh, 93 billion I get up to pretty close to 100 billion so that's what i got today let me know what price you think you can get. obviously there's ones in here it could be 25 cents it could be 75 cents but it's fun to throw out some numbers of what some other projects did in the last uh, bull run you know solano had a lot of adoption it had a lot of people doing nfts and things like that on it, it had a lot of transactions and it had its outages um, so it gives you an idea uh, you can go through and do your own thinking and try to pick a you know sometimes it's you can kind of reverse engineer what price you think a project could get to if you just figure out what a realistic market cap is and then you can work your way back and go okay I think it could get to like a 20 billion dollar market cap okay that puts it at a dollar I mean that's that's a huge gain from now but not financial advice. Let me know what price you think Casper can get in the next bull run. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.